Trump's role by co-creation of seven new districts. Bhinkali and of BJP's born in Esproton Speaker, Governor urges Chief Minister to pass budget on time. Esproton Speaker and Ministers oath to elected members in the Assembly, floaters to be held tomorrow. And Governor's Cup Invitation Polo Tournament 2017 kicks off at Infal Polo Ground. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Lighting Monica with the latest news updates. United Naga Council will lift its 139-day-old economic blockage from midnight tonight following an agreement reached at the tripartite talk held at the RDA Conference Hall in Senapate District Headquarters. Representatives of Government of India, State Government and UNC held the talk from 1.30 this afternoon. Additional Chief Secretary Suresh Babu represented State Government, while Joint Secretary Home Notice in Charge Satyendra Garg represented the Centre. Members of UNC Core Committee, former Presidents Paul Leo, Samson Ramay, Lohri Adani, General Secretary S.C. Milan, and some Presidents said Satsang and Naga Women Union President Tabitha were present at the talk. The government agreed to look into the creation of the seven new districts. After the talk, Joint Secretary No Home Notice in Charge Satyendra Garg told media persons that most of the issues of the UNC were resolved in the talk. He also said the state government will consider the UNC's demand to look into the creation of the seven new districts. The UNC has asked the government to roll back the creation of the new districts. Additional Chief Secretary Suresh Babu says the government will consult the people regarding the formation of new districts as desired by the UNC. And government of Manipur has uh, taken on itself like uh, they'll be uh, addressing all the concerns of the United Nations. UNC had agreements. Like uh, they they had they had a point of view regarding creation of new districts. Uh, they had a point of view like uh, they were been and there is a fact that uh, there have been four memorandum memorandum of understanding earlier. So this was not adhered to earlier. So now like uh, with a new government in place in Manipur, like uh, all these grievances which made UNC to go in for economic blockage will be at Everything like which had been placed on the table, all the grievances, and the main grievance was creation of the seven districts, will be, I mean, the point of view of UNC will be considered, and fresh decisions will be taken wherever it UNC General Secretary S. Milan says the government will resolve the issues of the UNC politically. The demands of the UNC include instruction of the President of India to Governor to submit a detailed report on the creation of the new districts and its aftermath and rollback of the creation of the new districts. The government of uh, India also uh, uh, accommodated the sentiment of the Naga people, for which uh, we have agreed upon it. Uh, everything will be redressed and then it will be at the political level. We are on the right track and so if we are on the right track, uh, it may be slow but we will hit, hit the time. Elected BJP member from Churichanpur Assembly constituency Bihan Kailian today took oath as the Protem Speaker of the Manipur State Assembly. Governor Dr. Najma Ahabtula administered the oath to Bihan Kailian at the Rajbhavan this morning. Chief Minister Nongthongbam Biren, his cabinet colleagues and MPCC President T.N. Haukib attended the swearing-in ceremony. After the swearing-in, the Governor urged the Chief Minister and Deputy Chief Minister to pass the budget. Protem Speaker V. Kailian today administered oath to the elected members of the 11th Manipur State Assembly. The elected members took their oath in the Assembly. Former Chief Minister Okrami Bobi Singh and the Congress MLAs occupied the opposition benches. The swearing-in began at 11 a.m. sharp. However, Chief Minister N. Birain and some of, his, of the opposition members arrived less. Later, after the members took their respective seats, the Protem Speaker Vihan Kailian asked them to fill in the oath-taking forms. He then administered the oath to the members. The House also observed a two-minute silence as a mark of respect to the late Rajya Sabha MP Haji Abdul Salam, who passed away last month. 
Ashab Udin, who is elected from Ziribam, also took the oath today. The speaker will be elected tomorrow. The floor test will also be scheduled for tomorrow. The Class 12 Examinations 2017 conducted by the Council of Higher Secondary Education, Manipur, will start tomorrow. Chairman of COSEM, Lamabam Mahendra, has conveyed his best wishes to all the students who are appearing in the examinations. Talking to media yesterday, he assured that the results of the examinations will be declared on time, even though the examinations have been delayed by one month due to the Assembly elections. Mahendra said help of technology will be used to ensure timely declaration of the results along with the names of the toppers. A total Total number of 26,440 students of arts, science and commerce streams are appearing in the examination. The number of male students is 13,603, while the number of female students is 12,837. The examinations will be held in 92 centres in the hills and valley and conclude on April 21. Authorities have made arrangements to ensure free and fair conduct of the examinations. Satra Satri Shingna, All India Exam Punamakta Epia Toba Amadi Admission Tobada Kudong Sadaba Amata Toktanaba Aray Bari Source Punamak Tada Zaraga Wana Zagani Handaki result declared Tobada Rang Yauna Hidok Zagani Rang Yauna declared Tobasina Satra Singi Marakta Competitive Zillama Soidana Hengakani Hibasi Council Lamadi Aisha Makiche and Tazabani Nuxi Zaraba Satra Satri Sing Punamakna Yamna Chauna Mai Patuna Lebaki Matixa, but Nagar Kama or Snu Haina is Horgima from the Kuramjari. Bengun Youth Development Association has appealed for a cabinet berth to minority Muslim in the BJP-led coalition government. The association in a press release urged the chief minister to induct an MLA of the minority Muslim. A team of Imphal West Commando arrested a cadre of underground outfit KCP Kesomaitai. The cadre is identified as Iringbam Mangul Jao, 63 years, son of I Ababi of Mayang Imphal, Chirai Mayai Lekai. Sources said he is working under self styled commander Kesho Maitai and was involved in extortion of money from many people for the outfit's fund. Let's take a short break. We'll be back with more news updates. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. Ningombam Helendro Election Management today organized a function at Palace Compound to express its gratitude to the people of Yai School constituency for their support to the independent candidate Ningombam Helendro in the 11th Assembly elections. Speaking at the event, Helendro said he contested the election with the objective to bring change in the constituency. He said though he could not win the election, he will continue to work for the development of the constituency. Helen Rowe maintains that he will not betray the people's faith in him. <laughs> O Tribal Chief and Public Grievances Forum, ATC and PGF Chandal District congratulated the newly elected MLAs Letfao Haukip from Chandal and the Korungtang from Tengnopal and urged them to implement government schemes successfully for the development of the district. Awang Soibam Laikai Sinthalop, Maichou Ningsing Lop and Lairimbi Sinthalop today organized one day discussion on the deteriorating condition of the historic shrine of Kurai Ahongpung Laipam at Kurai Ahongai after migrants encroached upon the site at Manipur Press Club. Speakers at the meeting said the government had declared Kurai Ahongpung as the sacred site and the historical ancient monument and Remains Act 1976-79 in 2000 and it was published in the State Gazette. They said a case has been uh, pending in the court. They expressed concern that the site might disappear as the government and authorities concerned have not given due attention to the case. They also appealed to the people to help protect the historical site. All Manipur United Clubs organization Namako has condoled the death of Kakchingta Bamsundar Gopal Sharma from Maitai Bamon 
Kunjau in Myanmar. In a press release, Amuko said Sundar Gopal Sharma during his lifetime tried to reunite the Manipuris who have settled in different parts of Myanmar and protect and preserve the customs and traditions among them. Amuko also said his death is a great loss for the Manipuris living across the world. The three-day death anniversary observance of renowned writer Kangjam Padma Kumar began today at Chorus Repertory Theatre at Samusang. Floral tribute were offered at a portrait of the late writer by the attendees. Eminent poets of Manipur raised their poems at the Kavi Samelan on the first day. Japan Lan, a sword play written by Kangjam Padma Kumar, was also performed by Paradise Theatre Wangkai. Tangjam Ibobisak, Yumlembam Ibomja, Sarat Chandra Thiam, Arambam Memchobi, S. Banumati, S. Lanchinba, and Amarjit Tongbram were among those who recited their poems. Tomorrow, Asok Vajpayee will deliver Padma Kumar Memorial Lecture on the theme Poet. Dance theatre based on Padma Kumar's poem Sandhyagi Isai will also be presented. <laughs> I Nongcho Bharam Khorje Love Nahak Hol today released two books in connection with its Silver Jubilee celebrations. Nahak Hol has been releasing books every month as part of the Silver Jubilee celebrations here. Ithak Macha Macha by Gauro Thongamcha and Dasa by Dr. L. Sashi Kumar were the books launched today at the event held at Manipur Press Club. Yogi Adityanath was today sworn in as the 21st Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, while BJP State Union Chief Kesav Prasad Maurya and party's National Vice President Dinesh Sharma was sworn in as the Deputy Chief Ministers. Governor Ram Nayak administered the oath to the Chief Minister and his Council of Ministers at Kanshiram Smriti Uvvan in Lucknow this afternoon. Besides the Chief Minister and Deputy Chief Ministers, 44 Ministers were also administered those. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Party President Amit Shah and Chief Ministers of NDA ruled states attended the ceremony. In Haryana, prohibitory orders under Section 144 have been imposed and internet services suspended in many sensitive districts in the wake of Jad agitators' plan to gear out parliament tomorrow. The districts include Ambala, Rotak, Jangjar, Biwani, Chakri, Dardri and Hisar. Delhi police have also decided to impose prohibitory orders in the national capital ahead of the proposed march. Entry of people to Delhi will be restricted from 11 tonight. Metro rail services will not be available at all stations outside Delhi and CR from 11.30 tonight till further orders. CBSC has also issued an advisory for class 10 and 12 students appearing in examinations in Delhi in light of the agitation. It has advised students to take necessary measures to reach the examination centers well before the scheduled time to avoid Inconveniences. All India Jad Arakshan Sangras Samiti, will, which is spearheading the agitation demanding reservations in education and government jobs, have given a call for a march to the national capital to Gerau Parliament and to hold dharnas on the Delhi border blocking all highways to press for the demands. Headquarters Inspector General Assam Rifles South organized a 40 cycling expedition from Zisami into Nagaland to raise awareness about the selfless service and sacrifices of Assam Rifles among the people. 20 AR personnel under the leadership of Major Vikran Rajay took part in the exhibition expedition. The team also interacted with the local youth in Ukrul, Litan and Yangopopi. News from the world of sports. 
The 27th Governors' Cup Invitation Polo Tournament 2017 and the 16th Governors' Cup Women's Polo Tournament 2017 kicked off today at the oldest living polo ground, Imphal Polo Ground. In the opening match, Manipur Police Sport Club B defeated Chinkai Hunba Polo Club 7-1. For the winners, the goals were scored by T.H. Kauba, I. Kaba, T. Pradip Kumar and Osu Race. The lone goal of Chinkai Hunba Polo Club was scored by S. Bronson in the last chakkar of the game. In his address as the chief guest, Chief Secretary Onabakishore stressed the need for the preservation, protection and promotion of the game of polo and the pony. He also appreciated the undying spirit and enthusiasm of the polo players. Ten men's polo team and four women's polo team are participating in a tournament held under the Indian Polo Association Rule 2002. Polo tournament, a tournament, a polo tournament, army ke polo tournament. I think Makal Maka, I have a polo tournament. I have Kabuna, I have to my way, even better than that. But if you go to give, who can pass the Bunga, Yamo, Polo, she goes to Hunter, whatever is in my Kuruki, and I can tell you that. Lego pay and a penny, whatever Polo, Hanaka Kabuna, the Bokundi, Hanaka Kabuna, Mr. Tawai Yabuna. Before we end, a quick look at the headlines once again. UNC lifts economic blockage demands rollback of creation of seven new districts. Kehan Kalyan of BJP sworn in as a protem speaker, Governor urges Chief Minister to pass budget on time. Protem speaker administers oath to elected members in the assembly, plot is to be held tomorrow. And Governor's Cup Invitation Polo Tournament 2017 kicks off an Impal Polo Ground.